we're gonna turn a still AI image to dynamic and living 3D scene. Tom's project showed how to do it in After Effects, so I'm gonna show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna use Mid Journey, which costs money, but there are also free AI image generators on the internet. Now, let's get right into it. So the first thing I did, I used Mid Journey to create some mountain images until I got something what I liked. And this is the final result, so I'm gonna download this one. And I download it. Then where you want to head up is the site called so Depth. So it's this hugginface.co. And when you are here, you want to go to the image to 3D tab. Then, then you just want to drag the, your AI image to the inp input image. You want to tick the keep occlusion edges. So it's on and then just hit submit. This is going to take a couple seconds. And this is what we ended up with. It's It looks a bit strange, but if you look here... Uh, it creates this uh, 3D illusion. So then just from the top right corner, you want to download it. And this file, which this Zodepth uh, just created, is a GLB file, as you can see here. And currently DaVinci Resolve doesn't support the GLB files, but what it does support is FBX files. So open a new tab and type GLB to FBX. And the first site should be Aspos products. This is what I use. This works pretty well. Just drop your GLB file right here. Make sure that here reads FBX and just hit convert now. So FBX is a 3D file type, which is supported by DaVinci Resolve. So that's why we're going to convert it. After the file is converted, just hit download now. And make sure that the file is downloaded to accessible location. Next, you want to launch DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to turn my timeline frame rate to 60 FPS. That's just something I like to edit. You don't need to if you don't want to. Then just get a fusion composition as usual uh, and go to the fusion. So in the fusion, come up to the top where it reached fusion, import and FBX scene. This way we're going to import the FBX scene. Then you want to find your FBX file wherever you downloaded it and just select it. I'm just going to go with the normal settings here. So just hit OK. Then it loads for a bit and you should come up with something like this. You have geometry zero, world and root node. And because these are 3D nodes, we're going to need render 3D. So hit shift and space at the same time and type rend render 3D. Uh, get it and connect the root node to it and then connect the render to the media out. And this looks very weird now. There is two things which we need to do. First, go to the render 3D node and here should be a render type. So normally it's set to software renderer, but we need to set it to hardware renderer. And okay, it's still a bit weird. So you want to come up to the root node, just light the eye value until it's something about 180. And then what you need to do is press shift and space and get camera 3D node. And just take the output of the camera 3D and connect it to the root node. Just like this. I'm gonna hit this left dot from the merge 3D and hit this so I, I get this view. So as you can see, if we go too far away, it's gonna get very strange. So I go at the frame zero. The movement needs to be very subtle. So I pull it back a little bit. It needs to be at left a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit closer than right. And then we're, I think we could just zoom in. So uh, just keyframe the X, I and Z from the camera 3D. Move to the end of the comp. Now I'm gonna increase the Z value, bring it closer. And as you can see the mountain, it reveals this side. So left and maybe, uh, maybe up a little bit. In this image, the mountain is the only thing which is nearby. So if we zoom towards the mountain, it's, it should be okay. Wait, I'm gonna decrease my timeline proxy resolution. Okay, this looks really cool. And now because we're moving towards the only object which is actually close it doesn't look like this and of course you have different ai image you need to adjust the positions differently and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a snow overlay so i'm at the edit page right now i get my snow overlay here to let the uh, soundtrack and from the video inspector tab composite mode uh i set it to screen so now there's a little snow. And as you can see, we turned a still AI image to dynamic and living video. If you think this video was helpful, watch this video next. I guarantee it will help you too. See you there.